member of the PRLA team here in Harrisburg. As I film this video, I'm beginning my third week on the job as your CEO, and I can tell you that I'm excited to be here. I've worked on the volunteer side of hospitality associations over the years, mostly the AH and LA and the NRA. However, the highlight of that work was as chairman of the Texas Hotel and Lodging Association. When I served on the search committee for a new president back in the late 90s, I became fascinated with the idea of someday leading an association like the PRLA. Well, 20 years later, here I am. I've had fabulous opportunities during my career, including working my way up to executive chef from dishwasher, helping to build a national hotel company from the ground up, assisting with the growth of the world's largest private golf and business club organization, running a fast growing restaurant company and serving as the mayor of the city of Plano, Texas. That's enough about me in this day and age. You can learn more than you would ever need to know about a person with the simple click of a mouse. Let's talk about your association. During my first week at 100 State Street, I spent time with each member of our terrific PRLA team, sharing backgrounds and learning about ways to make our association even better. I had the opportunity, even prior to starting work, to meet many of our fine board members at the spring membership meeting at the iconic Nittany Lion Inn in State College, and I've spoken with many more of you on the phone since then. Like you, the hospitality industry got into my blood early in life when at the age of 15, I became a short order cook at the local A&W in Sharon, Pennsylvania. Though I've spent slightly more than half my life in Texas, it's terrific to be back in beautiful Pennsylvania, working with our awesome restaurant and lodging industry. As I mentioned, we have a great team here in Harrisburg. My goal is to help them be even more successful while working with all of you to increase the number of PRLA members. We have a strong financially sound organization, but we need to have a broader membership base so that we can be an even more powerful advocate for the industry. We also need to increase our PAC funding. It takes money to make an impact and our terrific legislative affairs folks cannot do their best work without these resources. I also recognize that we have to provide the services and educational programs that cause your investment in the PRLA to make sense to you. After all, we're business people. We understand there must be a return on investment. Lastly, we'll be working to enhance the two-way communications with the association. This video is a very small first step. One of my favorite quotes is from Ellsworth Milton Statler, the hotelman that built the first major hotel to have private baths or showers and running water in every room. Statler said, life is service. The one who progresses the most is the one who gives his fellow men a little more, a little better service. None of us would be in this business if we didn't inherently agree with Statler that life is service. We at the Pennsylvania Restaurant and Lodging Association are devoted to that concept. I look forward to seeing you at chapter meetings in your restaurants and hotels and elsewhere across the state. Remember, call or email me at any time with any thoughts you have on how we can better serve you, or if you just wanna chat. I'd love to hear from you. I'm John Longstreet with this, the first edition of the Longstreet Beat, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.